We're here with two-time Olympian Galar Yofau. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. You? I'm not too bad. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. So, 10 rounder straight away. Um, was that your decision or who's, whose idea was it first? A bit of both, really. You know, I spoke to my coach. Um, Eddie was like, what about a 10 rounder? We was like, yeah, go on, why not? Um, I'm good enough to do the 10 rounds. Um, I'm fit enough to do the 10 rounds. Um, but I'm sure we'll see on Sunday. Okay, I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to it. Um, on your Instagram and all that, I see you sparring with the likes of one of your old foes, um, Sonny Edwards. How's that been? Yeah, really good sparring. Um, we done, I think it was nearly 60 rounds in the last few weeks. Um, good 10, eight, good 10, good eight rounds. Um, yeah, it helps both of us, both getting ready for fights. Obviously, mine's on Sunday, his is in March. Um, yeah, hopefully it's put us both in good stead. But it's been good sparring. What's the relationship with you uh, with um, with the Edwards? I mean, you know, with your brother, Carl, with um, what's his name, Charlie Edwards, and does that affect your relationship between you and him? And you guys could actually be fighting in the near time future. How's that been? How's the dynamics? Uh, it's, you know what? It's just boxing, man. Um, I'm cool with everyone. Uh, literally, yeah, we fought back in I think 2014 or 15, and he beat me um, as a young kid coming up. Um, but we've been sparring, we call with each other. Um, I think we know we're going to be fighting in the future. We, we mentioned it when we spoke at the gym. We were like, we're going to fight in the future. Um, that's not a problem, we're sparring now. I'm at my debut, he's a world champion, so I've still got to learn from these guys and you know gauge where I'm at, but um, I think I'm in a good place. Sparring-wise, I know you said he's a, he's a world-level opponent. You're just starting. Um, though you're, world, um, you're gold medalist, this is a pro, this is a totally new sort of game. Do you feel from that sparring that you're up there with the best? Yeah, a million percent. Um, and that's not trying to give anything away, but I think Sonny will tell you that, you know, I'm up there. Um, doesn't mean I can beat the world champions, but I'm up there. Um, hopefully I can show that soon. And hopefully I'll show that Sunday. Hopefully we see. Sonny is um, arguably top three, top two, or number one, however you see. How would you see the fight with him against Martinez? Do you think he'll be able to avenge his brother's draw, loss, however you want to see it? Um, I don't know, it's a tough fight. I know, I know it's a tough fight. It's a tough fight for both of them. Um, Sonny's a, the, you know, the boxer who's sharp and who's got good reflexes. Um, he's cute. Um, and Martinez is an out-and-out knockout artist who comes forward and he's a, you know, he likes to have a fight. I don't know where that fight will go to 50-50 fight for me. Um, either Sonny Edwards just absolutely boxes his head off or Martinez catches him. And he could knock anyone out at a fly away. Um, but it's just if he catches him and it's uh, he's hard to catch. So it's a 50-50 fight. I'm going to sit on the fence with it. Your comfort, aggressive southpaw. Your style with Martinez would gel very well, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would gel. Um, but he's a, he's a tough fight. I know that he's a tough fight. Um, but I'm sure I'll be up there with them very, very soon. Um, do I think I can beat those guys in the future? One million percent. Talking about avenge losses, um, could you see yourself fighting Chocolatito at some point? Super, super flyweight? Oh, I don't know. Um, Chocolatito is someone I look up to, even though he's beat my brother. I look up to him. Uh, I've watched him over the years. I've tried to you know, replicate things that he does. Um, I don't know if I'd fight him. I would if it presented to me, um, but I'd rather not. I think he's a legend. He's someone I look up to. Um, even though he's beat my brother, it's just boxing. Yeah, that's just that's just the way boxing is. He's a good person outside of boxing, as you can see, and he just does his job. And fair play to him. He's a great fighter. You obviously wanted your brother to win that fight, but at the same time, after like time has passed, have you looking back? Do you appreciate certain things he did in that fight? Yeah, a million percent. I said to my brother well, after the fight, I said, um, he does brilliant things. Um, and my brother Tom himself, yeah, he does great things. And um, you can only sit there in awe and say, oh, brilliant that is. Um, you know, I'm not going to sound jealous and be like, he didn't do nothing good. Of course he did, he beat my brother. Um, obviously, you try and learn from them things. Um, but it's boxing, that's what happens in boxing sometimes. And Chocolate was a better fighter. And um, you move on and, and just enjoy life. What's going on with your brothers? Are they going to be coming out soon, fighting soon? Tell me something. Yeah, I think they're sorting both, so both sorting fights out now. Cal's going up to bantamweight. Um, Gamal's come back from his loss. Um, 
I think they'll both be we're back in the ring soon, hopefully. Hopefully we can get on a card of each other in Birmingham in the near future. That'll be very good to see all you three brothers fighting in Birmingham. Your mum would be proud of that, wouldn't she? Yeah, definitely. She's proud, she's proud now already. Um, so if we could do more things like that, maybe box with each other on the show, um, yeah, it'd be a no good night for my mum and good night for the Afro family. Do you ever think we're going to see your brother against Charlie Edwards? Um, maybe. We could, we could see it soon, hopefully. Um, it's a good fight for both of them. I know Charlie's a good fighter. Um, Cal's a good fighter. They've got a bit of beef, so-called beef from the past. Um, yeah, maybe they could fight in the future. It'd be a good fight, wouldn't it? Martinez against Chocolatito. How do you see that? I got, I'm going to go with Chocolatito. Um, I think he's too good for Martinez. Um, it's a jump up for Martinez as well. In weight, Chocolatito is a legend. Um, I'm going to have to roll with, with uh, Roman Gonzalez. Let's move away from other division. Lawrence Akoli against Kiziak. Tell me. Oh, I've got to roll my boy Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence is on fire at the minute, you know, how powerful he is. Um, I've seen him come through the amateurs and GB together at the 2016 Olympics to where he's at now. And now it's good to be boxing on his undercard and I'm sure he'll, he'll, he'll give a good night because um, he's explosive and he's got power. I think I have an idea who you're going to pick in this. They've, it hasn't been announced yet, but there are talks of it. Joshua Boatsi against Craig Richards. Tell me something. You know what? I, I, you know what? I like both of the boys. Boatsy is my close mate as well. Um, but I do like Craig Richards too. You know, he's got a good training. Peter Sims. Uh, he's a he's a good guy. He's one of the good guys in boxing. Um, but it's just the fact he's coming up against Joshua Boatsy, who's a great talent, um, and he just happens to be one of my close boys as well in boxing. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Boatsy, but Craig Richards is a, is a credit to boxing, to British boxing. Um, I don't think it'll be so easy for Boatsy, but I do think Boatsy will win. Um, but it's a good fight and I wish them both the best. Tyson Fury against Dylan White. Um, you know what, it's hard to bet against Tyson Fury, um, but I do really like Dylan White. Um, Dylan White's a great fight, you know, he's improved over the years. Um, but I'd be an idiot if I had to bet against Tyson Fury. Um, I think he's obviously the favourite. He's a world champion. You know, he's beat some great fighters. I've got a role with, with, with Tyson Fury, but I'll be I'll be rooting for Dillian White as well. And lastly, Joshua against Susik. Rematch. Repeat or revenge? You know what? I could... You know what? I, I know people are going to probably say that I'm a, I'm a Joshua fan or whatever, but... You know, I am more on Joshua's side, you know, coming through GB and seeing him around and being more close to Joshua. But I'm a big fan of music too. Um, I'm going to probably go with revenge for Joshua. I think Joshua can beat him. I know people might say, oh, no, he can't. I think he can. I think if the right Joshua's there and he trains dili diligently, um, I think Josh Joshua got the, can get the beating of him. I, I, I really do. Were you at Manchester last weekend? No, I wasn't there. I, I wanted to, but I've, you know, fighting this week, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, you know, it's a bit dangerous for COVID and that, so I wanted a, a negative test, so I had to stay away. What did you think of the fight? Yeah, it was a surprise for me. T to be fair, I didn't think it'd be so easy for Cal Brook. Um, I think Cal Brook, he, he turned back the years. Uh, I think he looked good. Um, whether he retires now or he carries on, um, he's had a great career and it was a great win for him. What would you prefer him to do? I mean, have you been watching him? Are you a fan of um, Kel Brook? Would you want him to fight one more time or just sail off to the sunset? You know what? It's one of those ones where it'd be great to watch him fight again because he's a great fighter to watch. Like, I'm a fan of Kel Brook for years. Um, but it'd be nice if he just sat down and retired and just spent time with family. He's 35. Maybe he could just chill now. He's made enough money. Um, he's had a great career and he could just end it on a good note. Galau, as a, a personally, I just feel like um, it's um, it's nice to have you back in. The, I mean, back in the pro ranks because people like Sonny Edwards, they've not really had um, much rivals domestically. So hopefully, we could uh, see you guys mix it up. Maybe trilogy, you know, rematches. What do you, how do you how do you see that? Yeah. Maybe pay per view the first flyweight pay per view in the UK. Yeah, I think I think we'll both definitely fight. I think it's inevitable. Um, we speak about when we spar, we're, like, we're definitely going to fight each other. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, I need a bit of experience now. Um, he's a seasoned pro now. He's, he's been around. Um, I've got to learn. I've got this tough fight on Sunday, so we'll think about those big fights after.
Is there any of the, any of the Olympians around your weight class that are turning pro that we, we should watch out for, do you know about, or are you just focusing on you? Well, I'm really, I'm really focusing on me, but I know there's a few, there's a few, but in other countries, they don't tend to really go professional. Um, they normally stay amateur. Um, it's normally the Americans and the British that normally go pro. Um, you know, the other countries, Russians and, and, and things like that, Cubans don't really go pro. Um, so I don't, wouldn't really know, but there are some good amateurs at my way, brilliant ones. Talking about Americans, that other, um, well, he started off light flower. He took his chance against um, um, Kudris, did I pronounce his name properly? Um, Bam Rodriguez. What did you think about him? Yeah, he's brilliant. Uh, he came up two weights to beat Kudras, who was a brilliant fighter. Maybe he's at the end of his career, but it was a brilliant win. And he's a real talent, man. He's a, he's a brilliant fighter, and he's only 22, so it just goes to show he must be a, a superstar. How have any of the, um, the old, the veterans, that are still the, at the t like around the pound for pound list that you could face. We, you said you wouldn't want to fight Chocolatito because you, who would you like? Who would you like to see before they leave the sport? Like maybe gain knowledge from. Well, like I said, kind of, Chocolatito. I don't know if I wouldn't fight him. I would fight him if I, you know, if it presented to me. But he's someone I wouldn't, you know, call out. I'm not really a calling out kind of person. But I think Chocolatito is someone who I, who I did look up to, and I still do. Um, you can learn a lot from him. He's a brilliant fighter. Um, so I think someone like him, maybe. Well, good luck. Taking enough of your time. All the best on Sunday. And hope to see you soon. Oh, T signing out. Cheers. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you. Hey, nice one. Yeah. Actually, let me